Calling for evacuations along the southeastern coast, officials said the next few days would be among the worst yet in an already catastrophic fire season. Inverloch, Australia they fled from looming firestorms that threatened to cut off their escape, only to join a slog alongside the masses of others who crowded the roads. Thousands more waited for rescue by sea. Across the scorched southeast, frightened Australians taking a few cherished things, abandoning their homes and vacation rentals, and braving smoke that discolored the skies struggled Thursday to evacuate as wildfires turned the countryside into charcoal wasteland. And from government officials came a disheartening warning. This weekend will be one of the worst periods yet in Australia's catastrophic fire. It's going to be a blast furnace, Andrew Constance, the Transport Minister of New South Wales, told the Sydney Morning Herald. The blazes have strained the country's firefighting resources, and the fire season, though still young, already ranks as among the worst in Australia's recorded history. The state of New South Wales declared an emergency in its southeastern region on Thursday, calling on residents and vacationers to evacuate. Mr Constance said the relocation was the largest in the region's history. To the south, the state of Victoria declared a disaster on Thursday allowing it to authorize the evacuation of areas along its eastern coast. Using any means they could find, the authorities were warning people to evacuate. But with communication in some areas spotty to non-existent, it was not clear. In just the past week, at least nine people have died, and many more are unaccounted for. In all, at least 18 people have died in this fire season. The blazes have consumed more than 1,000 houses, killed countless animals, and ravaged a Pacific Coast region of farms, bush, eucalyptus forests, mountains, lakes, and vacation spots. About 15 million acres have been blackened over the past four months and more than 100 wildfires are still burning. With the southern hemisphere summer barely underway and the country already reeling from record-breaking heat, no one expects relief any time soon. No rain is in the forecast. We're still talking four to six weeks at best before we start to see a meaningful reprieve in the weather, Shane Fitzsimmons, the Rural Fire Commissioner for the state of New South Wales, told reporters. In Malakuta, a coastal town in Victoria State, the Australian Navy on Friday began ferrying to safety some of the